So Misfits Boxing just put out their top 10 best pound for pound YouTube boxers after finally changing it 4 months later and people online were not happy which makes sense I mean the list started off well but then it kind of just fell in the bin. But I actually made my own top 10 YouTube boxers list around a month ago so today we're gonna see what they changed by comparing their new list to the old list and then also comparing their new list to my list. Huh? So let's go. So starting things off at number 1 we have KSI and Jake Paul. Um, Misfits, it's called number 1 for a reason. How are you just gonna put two people there? You're breaking the law of numbers. So I'm guessing because the KSI vs Tommy Fury fight was so controversial with a lot of people saying he did way better against him than Jake Paul did and also KSI being one of the literal owners of Misfits, they just put him at number 1 but they couldn't leave Jake Paul at number 2 because that would have caused World War 18 in the replies. So they just tied them up. I still think Jake Paul should be higher than KSI just because he has the better record, he's fought better people and has ended his fights in a better fashion than KSI. So in my list I had Jake first and then KSI second which is exactly what they had in their previous rankings if we ignore Tommy. At number 3 and 4 they have Dean the Great and then Slim which makes complete sense. I mean Dean was getting penetrated online to fight Walid again and how he's gonna get destroyed but proved all of those people wrong after beating him by unanimous decision including me. Walid is gonna win by knockout. Some people thought Slim should have been higher just because he has the better record being 7-0 compared to Dean's 5-0 who is one spot ahead of him but I think we can all agree Dean fighting will lead twice as already better than all of Slim's previous opponents. And also in my opinion Dean's just an overall better boxer than Slim in terms of being faster, having better head movement, having better defense because Slim just takes shots he doesn't have to take and also having better endurance. I mean right here Slim looks like he just went 3 rounds with Logan Paul's fiance. If we compare this to their previous list, Dean is in the same spot and Slim moved up a spot which makes sense after he beat Salt Poppy. And if we compare this to my list, it's the exact same. Are we sure they didn't just copy me? Going over to number 5, they have Anthony Taylor which again makes sense. I mean he literally beat two of the scariest YouTube boxers at the time in Salt Poppy and King Kenny both by unanimous decision so he's took on the toughest challenges. Even though I don't like the midget T-Rex dinosaur. I have to give him some credit here. He's also improved his cardio a good amount as well which we can see by comparing him fighting Idris Virgo which was around 10 months ago to him fighting King Kenny which was 1 month ago. Idris. Idris. Idris Virgo. But if we compare this to their previous list, they had Anthony Taylor at number 7 if we ignore Tommy Fury so it does make sense that he moved up. And if we look at my list. So that was the first half and I obviously 100% agree with the list and you can see people online agreeing as well but now it's time to go to the bottom 5 where the list makers may have taken some crack cocaine. Right off the bat, what the hell is this? How is Logan Paul at number 6 after he beat Dylan Dennis? The man that's known for trolling on Twitter, the man that's known for not fighting in the past 89 years, and the man that's known for never boxing a day in his life. I mean he tried to choke out Logan twice in a boxing match and failed that and then when the security guard stepped in he swung at them and also missed. Like you can't just put Logan at number 6 because he beat this man. And it's not like they moved him up one spot, they moved him up three spots. I had Gib at number 6 in my list which actually makes sense. I mean Gib is 6-1 and one and has been way more active in boxing while Logan is 1-1-1 one and one and one if we ignore the Floyd Mayweather fight and has only fought two times in the last- Wait no! He's only fought once in the last 2 years. But they do have Gib at number 7 which isn't too bad, I just think he should be at number 6 because of the points mentioned. And if we compare Gib's placement to last year's, they just switched him as Slim which makes complete sense because Slim did beat Salt Poppy who was looking very scary but putting Logan Paul above Gib should be a literal crime. I personally had Wally the Sharks at number 7 and yes, I know I know, even though he lost to Dean, I still think he's an incredible boxer and will probably beat every single other person in his weight class. Coming in at number 8 on the Misfits list, it's Jarvis.
How? Now I know Jorvis did put up a pretty good performance his last fight, knocking his opponent down in 5 seconds and that would have been a good fight against any other person other than B-Dave. Like how do you go from not even being in the top 10 ranking to being number 8 after beating B-Dave, better known as Pineda's Bit. But I had King Kenny at number 8 on my list which I feel like makes more sense since he did have 2 dominant wins in the Kingpin tournament, making it to the finals and then although he did lose to Anthony Taylor on the prime card, that may have been the worst fight in all of YouTube boxing because it was 99.97% hugging. Now this next one may be worse than Logan Paul being at number 6. It's Temple Arts at number 9. He didn't even win his last fight. I mean he technically did but it was the biggest robbery of all time like just look at the replies under his win announcement. Again he wasn't even in the top 10 4 months ago so how do you randomly make it to number 9 after robbing someone from their win? It makes no sense. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I had Salt Poppy at number 9 on my list which I feel like makes more sense because he definitely dropped a ton from before but he lost to one of the best YouTube boxers in Slim. It's not like he lost to Simple Simon or something. <laughs> and finally coming in at number 10 we have Ashley Roxu who I actually agree with. Roxu upsetted everyone when he beat King Kenny around 8 months ago. I mean the title literally says a big upset. But he looked like an absolute machine, going straight forward at Kenny and throwing absolute bombs while Kenny was just covering up. But what I don't get is that in their last rankings, Ashley Roxu wasn't even in the top 10 but after he beat Halal Ham who is 2 foot 3, 590 pounds, he gets a spot. Like that just shows this misfits list is cooked. I personally had a Logan Paul at number 10 and I can actually agree with putting Ashley Roxu in there and taking Logan Paul out. So overall, the first 5 were spot on and then the last 5? It just feels like they put all YouTube boxers on a spinning wheel and then just spun it to see who gets a spot. But comment down below how you feel about the Misfits top 10 YouTube boxers list and make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss future videos.